Alexa is listening to you, Google Home is listening to you, Siri knows where you are, what you're thinking. Scary and creepy? What? Now this is a privacy issue, right? So that's why I built a device that has a camera and a microphone that you have to attach and it films all day. We're building a remembering device. <laughs> Are you a forgetful piece of shit like me? I forget my phone everywhere. You go for a drink of milk and leave your phone in the fridge. You come home from a night out and leave your keys in the fridge. You come home from shopping and realize you left your child in the fridge. So how do we solve this pertinent issue in our society? Well, you take an existing technology like Siri and you slap a camera onto it so that can, Siri can see your entire environment. Now, disregarding the privacy issues, now you can ask Siri, where did I leave my child? Or where did I leave my phone? Well, yes. I call it the memory scanner. Oh, oh it works. It works. It works. Hi. My head hurts because I spent the last 24 hours making this thing. Now this is not a laptop. This is not just a regular laptop. It comes with a camera. I'm entrepreneur. Have you ever misplaced your toilet? Well, no problem. And that's where, where Dory comes in. The device for organized rememberization of your life. Hey, that's pretty good. We've just invented a device that inputs everything you see around you and logs it so that you can find it later by just asking the simple question. Hey, Dory. Hey, Domas. What did you lose? I lost my toilet, can you find that? Then Dory will output the image of where you last left your toilet. I suck at presenting. Dory also outputs the date and time. You had it on the 24th of July at 10.46. How is that useful? Let's code this. I am a leet programmer, just like very efficient code. I put all of the locations into a text file and then from the text file I reference the video. <laughs> Not only is it every object, somehow it manages manages to duplicate the objects. So I'm getting more than one frame for every single object. Uh, this is a lot like, of JPEGs. Yeah, it's uh so instead of recording a video and just extracting the timestamp of where the thing was seen. I stored every single frame. <laughs> Ingenious, unique solutions to problems. I think that's what you need. Amazon and Samsung. You can just do the Michael Reeves thing where he just uh, scrolls through all of the code really fast and <laughs> goes like, if you guys are nerds, you're gonna go through every frame and look at this code. This is voice to text. Uh, <laughs> there I missed some code. There you go. <laughs> this is computer vision. You can scroll through it and look, look, slow it down. Next, Coco.Names uh, start at the top and you can actually download this on my Patreon. <laughs> you could put it on an Android phone, but I didn't because I'm a piece of sh** and I'm lazy. So you have to carry around a freaking laptop with the webcam plugged in everywhere you go. Camera specially made for shirts. Just, thank you. And, and you just stand up and walk around. Technical issues. Dory. Hey Dory. Yeah, dumbass. What do you want me to find? Oh, fuck. It's, my, it's the one on my shirt. Eh. 
Dory, where's my phone? Yo! You had it on the 23rd of July at 1555. So, if you want to walk around with a massive chunky laptop and have a webcam on your shirt, this could be the future. And Samsung Amazon, hi. A new feature for uh, adding into Alexa. This is an Android phone. So yeah, I own zero AI assistant thing devices because apparently they listen to you and you know, but don't worry, I got you covered because when my device goes live and it's released on all the different types of phones and laptops, I will keep your data totally safe and we won't use anything about like wh who you're interacting with. We won't perform any kind of facial recognition on your friend. I had my laptop facing that way, like that way. And it saw that, that uh, guitar thing. And I'm just wondering what you think this looks like. So my OpenCV program thought that looked like a toilet. So I thought we go and paste a toilet onto one of these massive boxes that I have lying around that are doing absolutely nothing because my room is like a massive storage room. Pokemon, just let me find a photo. That, that, print. <laughs> golden toilet. Yep, it's a golden toilet. <laughs> Hi, uh, little PSA here. Don't sniff glue. It's bad for you. And that is why today's sponsor is gum tape. Gum tape is strong, durable, and sticky, and it holds a lot of things together that glue just can't do. First step, decide where you want your toilet. Do you want it in the center or do you want it just slightly above? I feel sorry for whoever is gonna be my roommate. I just did all of that. And while this looks amazing, I didn't test if the toilet works because this is a golden toilet that doesn't necessarily look like a real actual toilet. Pair the toilet. Hi, Toxic Dory. Do you know what this is? Let's go! Okay. Although it also thinks it's a freaking banana. You know, we took a risk. We took a risk by choosing the golden toilet that was offered to Donald Let's Trump. Let's go see if Dory can find toilets that I forget because, you know, this is a valuable item. I'm gonna need a cameraman. Boom. Boom. Say okay. something for the camera. Um. I finally found a cameraman, and his name is Phil. Hello. Say hello, Phil. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Yeah. Oh, One, two, two, three, um, do it! Here we have a toilet taped to a box. My voice just cracked. Now, I haven't tested this before. This is the first time I'm gonna test it. And let's just hope it works. Hey, dumbass. What did you lose? I lost my toilet. Here's a hint. So it looks like- You had it on the 24th of July at 10.46. Toilet, okay, we got toilet. And then Corin decides he just wants to play piano, right? So we play piano. Uh, like <laughs> so I thought my laptop was a toilet. That's useful. Looks like we've lost our toilet. I love this um this remembering software. I know it's so good. It really helps us remember things. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing happened. Extremely portable design, honestly. I agree. Amazon should hire me. I don't really want to read this book. I too want to read this. Oh, I, oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, 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 well, <laughs> hey, hey, Dory. The 24th of July at 11 o'clock. Dory That's saves easy. the-
Oh, this must be the library. I recognize that <laughs> corner of the room. <laughs> oh, it's my I think it's gonna rain later. So uh, probably don't spend too much time outside. So, let's say we're camping and I'm just like chilling over here like that. <laughs> and then I I casually place the toilet in a vertical position and face my camera towards it. And then and then go somewhere. And of course you have your camera and your laptop, the whole Dory yeah, experience, yeah. the whole Dory <laughs> ecosystem with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, get into the Dory ecosystem. Of course. <laughs> It, uh, sucks you in, like <laughs> Apple. Oh no, where is my toilet? Hey, Dory. He thinks there's a bear there. You know, I could market this as a bear spotting device. Yo. Hey, Donas. What did you lose? I lost my toilet again. I don't know. Go find it yourself, you goldfish-brained human. Try again. Ah, uh, yeah, so I, uh, programmed Dory to only respond 50% of the time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this sounds really helpful. I know, right? I don't know. Go f I don't know. Go find it yourself, you goldfish grained human. So I'm never Try gonna again. forget it again once I find it. I don't know. Go find it yourself, you goldfish grained human. So all Try those again. times we tried up there were like the 50%, and we're getting the rest of the 50% right now. I'm just gonna keep trying, and you're gonna see the wonders of post processing and editing. Hey Dory. Find my toilet. Find my toilet. Do you remember where you Let's go. Yeah, exactly. I don't remember. Thank you. It w you had it on the 24th of July at What? 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 It works 33.33333% of the time. So it looks like I had it in grass and then and then I can recognize the type of grass and the shade, and then my GPS brain tells me, ooh, it's probably over there. So we go over here. I found it. And that's Dory. <laughs> Thank you, Dory. Bye.